concrete does in fact float, or it can at least. Typical concrete um, is very heavy, so the goal is to make the concrete lighter than water. When you hear the concrete canoe team, it's basically oriented around the canoe. But that's not the only thing that happens on this team. This is a very family oriented team. I've made lifetime friends on this team. I mean, I've learned a lot and I have really a lot of good experiences competing, but it's mostly about the family orientation. Our students at the Virginia's Conference, out of those 13 teams, have won 13 consecutive years in a row. So we're very proud of that. And we are up against schools, some that are four times our size. The best the Fairmont State has done at the national competition is 12th overall in the country. We've done that three times. Um, in addition, we've gotten up in the top five in three different categories. This year's theme is Country Roads. Um, there's a two-fold purpose to that theme. First off, the national competition is being held in Denver. This year is also the 100th anniversary of the West Virginia Division of Highways. So they went with a little bit of a transportation theme as well. Everybody at Fairmont State knows us by the concrete canoe, but in addition, our chapter is very active in professional activities, in service activities, and social activities. These are rated by the Committee on Student Activities, and awards are presented to the top chapters throughout the country. This begins with over 300 student chapters. Fairmont State has received the Zone 4 Award four times and has been runner-up to the top award, the Ridgeway Award, four times for contributing to these activities. If you want to learn about the engineering program and in the Concrete New Team, come down to Room 104 in the Engineering Technology Building.